Number five, Earl Bud Muted King of Beers presents main event, 12 rounds for the USBA Welterweight Championship. Ring officials assigned by the United States Boxing Association. The attending supervisor is Doug Beavers. Judges at ringside are from Glen Allen, Virginia, Gail Carpenter. From Manekin Sabo, Virginia, Wayne Peters. And from Haydensville, Maryland, Jodi Wingfield. Your referee for this event from Bowie, Maryland, Kenny Chevalier. Introducing now the principals first in the red corner to my right, wearing the red trunks, white trim. He weighs 145 pounds. His professional record, 23 victories, three defeats, one draw. He has 15 wins by way of knockout. He originally hails from Saigon, Vietnam. Pound for pound, Martin! Martin! 12 rounds, USBA welterweight championship at state. Okay, I'm giving you instructions in the dressing room again. I'm giving instructions in the corner. I'm going to caution you, low blow. Give me a clean break. Let's touch gloves. And now makes his home in Las Vegas, Nevada. Here is the challenger. This is the champion, Tony Martin. He pulled out the long ball versus Kip Diggs. It was two outs, two strikes. Martin says in the ring, I'm a lot smarter today. At 35 years old, he says, I'm not washed up. I take good care of myself. I'm a good defensive fighter. I can vouch for that. We all can. He is tough as old shoes. This is best punches. The right cross. Kipper Kelp says, I am a slender boxer puncher in the ring. My best punch is left hook. Says, it's my secret weapon. Said, don't tell anybody, so. Now everybody knows. Says, I'm naturally left-handed. Tony Martin has always been hovering around the world title fight. He's never gotten it. He said, he remembers when he cracked into the top ten. 1987, nine years ago, ranked as high as number five. If he had not found the way to beat Kip Diggs in their fight in April, Tony Martin might be home in Philly watching us tonight on the Tuesday night fights, having hung up the gloves. Oh, yeah. But in that fight, he was way out of the fight. In fact, nobody gave him a round in that match going into the 10th round. I thought that he... I gave him the first round. I thought he won that round. But then after that first, he was too defensive, standing around looking, allowing Kip Diggs to score. And he caught him. And uh, that is uh, the quality of a veteran. Kip Diggs had uh, said after the fight, that's what makes Martin look like a vet and not me what happened that fight. And, Martin knows he has 12 rounds to play with here against uh, Skipper Kell. Right, and that fight, Martin wasted very few punches. He said, I knew I was hurting him every time I hit him, Martin said about Diggs. He said he had a lot of heart. You got a fighter in Skipper Kell who also has a lot of heart. Coming off the knockout victory over Adrian Stone, he said that gave me a lot of confidence. I let people know that I am a step above other fighters. And both fighters showing a little bit too much respect for one another here. You see around the left eye of Skipper Kelp that he started this fight with a little help over there from the trainer. That is uh, the area that was cut against Adrian Stone. Actually, it was cut three days before the Stone fight and was opened up quickly by Stone. So they protected it from the start here tonight. Good rounds. Now Kelp has had four months to let that heal. But I get you give him credit. I mean, you heard him talk prior to this fight, said, you know, I'd, I'd chew on his neck anything to do if I had to win. Even with that cut against Stone, in which Kelp... Looks like a different Tony Martin tonight than when we saw him against Kip. He was extremely defensive in that Kip, spot, Kip fight. Tonight he's trying to get out of the shell more. 
Got to lead the fight more. Control from the out too strong early. Says, I'll pick it up in the middle rounds. Once he feels my power, he says Skipper Kelp will change. For Kelp, he saw Tony Martin versus Kip Diggs. He said he was losing the fight, but you, you got to realize a fighter like Tony Martin is never out. He said when he had no match and you've had an opportunity to watch your opponent, you better study him intently because uh, you're going to fight him. And once you're in the ring, it's too late to study him then. And how many fighters have we talked yeah. to when we ask them, have you seen any tape or watch any of the, your opponent's fights on TV? He says, I don't watch their fights. I, 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 you know. I think that's, a, that's a big mistake. I, if, the more you know about your opponent, 